So this is my custom tiny whoop that I put together. I thought you said you were broke. You're good. You're awful good. It is a hodgepodge of parts. Now the flight controller is the Crazy B F3. Now along with this, this is the flight controller Canopy Camera VTX receiver that all came in the Snapper 7. Uh, so I took those off. I got a 65 millimeter frame from the UR65, the blue version. Uh, put that together for us right there. And then what I did is I got the motors from my Ishin trash can. These are the 0803. Uh, they are, I can't remember what KV they are. 15,000 KV. Now the goal of this is actually to run it on one S, one cell batteries. Um, and then I'm using 31 millimeter style props. This is a 65 millimeter frame, whereas the Snapper 7 was actually 75 millimeters. So I've shrank that down just a little bit to be able to get a little bit more manageable, a little bit uh, more maneuverable for indoors, be able to use the cheaper, smaller uh, one cell batteries and uh, just to kind of have like a hot rod uh, indoor flyer and see how that compares to like a brushless whoop. We just looked at the um, the tiny, what was that, that tiny whoop thing? The, the, uh, the tiny whoop nano the other day, which was brushed. So how does this compare? Does the extra power give you a little bit more authority or is it just uh, an annoyance to have that extra in there? Um. It actually flies pretty dang good. I think I would prefer a little bit smoother of a motor that was a little bit smaller. I really like like the Mobula 7 motor, which is an 0802, slightly smaller. Uh, I think that would be a little bit better. These uh, trash can motors do add a little bit of weight, which you kind of do feel in the air. Um, on one cell, the power really isn't there to allow you to do, you know, super power moves or anything like that. But uh, the power does give you some nice authority. I'm not sure if this is the most perfect whoop you could ever put together, but it is quite fun. And you can um, customize. These UR65 frames are really robust. I have a buddy, Matt, that has blown his. I think he got like 500 packs before he ever had to replace it. Um, he's quite good with that thing. Um, I'd be curious to get this in his hands to see how he can perform with this thing but uh yeah this is this is quite good guys um i really enjoy having all of these available options to be able to make these things so customizable these boards are quite plentiful and you should be able to snag up something like a snapper 7 a first generation of these 1s things now that 2 and 3s is all the rage but 1S is still the best for inside your house, guys. It really, really, really is. So if you can, get your hands on one of these and let's take a look at some flight footage. Thanks, guys.